Last but not least are the controls. Uh, you might think that uh, that might be the simplest thing, but if you've ever had to build a, a lathe or even any piece of machinery, uh, you will find that the controls are actually some of the more complicated bits. Getting something to run is quite easy. Controlling it is another story altogether. So this uh, control has actually generated a bit of uh, controversy because most individuals with modern lathes prefer their setup of having a remote control panel with a safety switch and big buttons and all of the bells and whistles, which I agree are nice features. I, I think that those are nice modern features. However, this is not a commercial product. I'm the only one who's going to be using it. No one else is going to be using it. I am very familiar with it. And um, as a result, I don't need to have all of those other fancy features uh, because I am intimately familiar with this machine. These features are very nice. In particular, uh, they're very useful when you are selling a machine on the open market. This particular machine won't ever see that. So for me and the way I built this lathe, I believe that these controls work for me very well. I've been using them for over a year and, uh, and I, I think that they have worked fantastically for the way I turn and what I like. So what we have here is, you can see in the front the way that the tool rest uh, beam, for lack of another word, is mounted. The articulated uh, tool rest is mounted to the beam. You will see that the bolts in the back match, and in fact, all the legs were drilled um, identically front and back, uh, and that is to allow for future expansion. If I wanted to put a, a bed on this lathe, I certainly could uh, by uh, putting rails front and back on the back legs and extending a bed through them. So for the moment, I don't have a bed and I don't plan one anytime soon. The control is mounted through those very holes. Now that is a half inch steel plate welded to this piece of two by two square tubing. And you can see this here is the power cable coming in. The lathe is powered on 220 single phase. The, uh, the electrical for the machine runs down through that tube and you can see it exiting at the bottom. There are actually two there you go, two covers there. One is for the motor wiring, the other is for the controls wiring, and um, that allows me to, to control it uh, forward and reverse and all of the other features. You'll see that in a second. 